Hi everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios and where anything can happen. And this is Shout Out Saturday, which I will get to in a minute. Some of you have asked about how I store my ephemera stuff. This is my... It's not like my little ephemera folios that I did last month. This is just pretty much all of my immediate mixed area, mixed media. Down on the bottom, I've got a paper pad of chipboard alphabets. And those are greeting card box, boxes of vintage greeting cards. And then that one is all CD covers. These are all the books that I take, that I tear from, that I pull stuff out of for themes. And then the larger paper pads, ledger pads, um, grid papers, that kind of thing. There's stuff in the drawer that I also use from time to time. It just really doesn't have a specific place. And then these are my binders. These use, these were from We Are Memory Keepers, and I think I bought just about every one I could find online. The three that are this color, the cream colored, I had bought those on clearance at Walmart several years ago. I've since picked up the three brown ones and another one that I have over there. This is how I store the majority of my mixed media by category. This first one is paint chips that I need to integrate into my paint chip drawer, but I'm afraid I'm going to make it too heavy if I do that. This is all envelopes, dyed papers, hotel and travel, Barbie trading cards. Can't remember what's in that one. And then that one is all the alphanumeric from off of my scrap rack. I had to create some room over there. It was too full and my pages didn't lay right. And technically it's still too full. I still could use taking off at least one or two more spinders off my scrap rack. But I'll take you through the scrap rack on another trip. For now, I'm going to try to put this back in the camera holder without shutting you off, which I've already done twice. I want to get this filmed before Judy comes, Julie comes on at 1230. I use an Akron camera mount that allows me to adjust my camera. There we go. I know you loved seeing my, my hand. So I can tilt this, I can raise it, lower it, stretch it out over my table. Some days I do a better job than others. Okay, so this is one of my one of the binders. They just snap closed when they're, this one it really is almost too full. But it's like a, a purse closure. And they're, they're just a three ring binder. They were designed for 12 by 12 scrapbook pages. So in this one I have packaging from alcohol and foods and wines coffees this one is all what's my tag say on this one i'll pull the tag in a minute but i'm pretty sure this is pack of food packaging tea i love this with the gold foils tea tags my empty tea bags i have lots of those that may wind up in some happy mail then i have my juices don't have a lot of juices and waters candies snacks, meats, baking for foods, soups, that kind of thing, seasonal, and pets. See, I've got packaging from off of Halloween and uh, 4th of July things that I bought at Dollar Tree, pet toys, bird seeds, those Little club card voucher pockets that you get in the mail for things. Priority clubs. Um, generic gift thingies, save a dollar on, that kind of thing. And then I've got larger packaging in the back. I've got the packaging from all of our new sheets. Kleenex boxes. My boost. And I use the pages for separating stuff. I use a couple of things. One, I use the pages from my scrap racks and I get those through Totally Tiffany and then I have um, just regular page protectors 8 and a half by 11 page protectors for the larger things anything any kind of page protector that will fit in an eight and a half by, in a three ring binder will fit in this um, this is the only consensus I've made to still using a binder type of system because I have trouble handling the binders but this has a handle that I can pull off the cart and get a hold of it. 
So that's how I store a lot of my ephemera. Okay. Shout out Saturday. This one's going to be a quick one. Because I want to get this ready to go before Julie comes on. So let's pull our five names for today. And I'd like to put a different color here than this white. Let's put this brown down so you can see. Here is number one. Mix them up here really good. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, shout out Saturday. Number two, our five names and webs for this week is R. This is Roxy Creations. Love Roxy, and I'm so glad she's a subscriber. Boosts my inspiration tremendously to have people like Roxy follow me. This is uh, Deanna Creaseman. Melissa Tanner. Stuffy, Stuff by Steph 77. And last but not least is Sarah Simi. Now remember, if they have a YouTube channel, I will link that down below in the description box. Also remember that you're, we're almost done midnight tonight as of this video airing. You have till midnight tonight to go over to the giveaway video, excuse me, and enter my giveaway. And I will put the link for that down below as well to make sure you're on the right video. If you want to see the updated of what I am giving away, that video is available too. But you have to enter under the one that has the giveaway icon thumbnail. That's the one you have to enter at. And that closes at midnight tonight. And I will announce the two winners next Saturday when we do Shout Out Saturday again. Have a great weekend, everyone. And creative blessings.